we have gotten our first look of Microsoft's xCloud in a web browser. xCloud is being developed to be able to be accessed through a web browser. One of the big reasons they are doing this is so that users on iOS will be able to access xCloud. Now, before we jump into this any further, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy what you see throughout this video, if you want to join this community so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. So as we know, Microsoft and Xbox have been having issues with Apple trying to get xCloud onto iOS devices. So on iPhones, on iPads, and basically being told by Apple that they can't put their app App on their store or they will have to certify every single game with an xCloud and that's just not going to work because pretty much I think they would have to like upload every game to the app store or something I'm not sure but it's just complete stupidity in the sense that Apple is being very restrictive with allowing xCloud as an app and Microsoft has vowed to make sure that users of iOS are going to be able to access xCloud so they're working on making it functional through a web browser so this is here sources familiar with Microsoft's Xbox plans tells The Verge that employees are now testing a web version of xCloud ahead of public preview and the service allows Xbox players to access their games through a browser and opens up xCloud to work on devices like iPhones and iPads. If we scroll up here, we kind of see the preview. It looks very similar to what is available right now through the Xbox Game Pass app and the xCloud app on Xbox and just on your phone and stuff like that. It's going to have the same sort of layout, the same colors and all that kind of stuff. So it looks pretty interesting. And I think being able to access xCloud through your web browser is going to be a massive solution, not only for iOS users, but for people who have underpowered PCs and want to be able to just stream games by opening up their browser. So it also goes into the resolution right now, and it says it's not immediately clear what resolution Microsoft is streaming games at through this web version, but the software maker is using the Xbox One S server blades for its existing xCloud infrastructure. So full 4K streaming won't be supported until the back end hardware is upgraded to the Xbox Series X components this year. So you can expect that you're going to be able to stream full 4K through the web browser through xCloud. And again, if you have a PC, they're planning on bundling this web version into the PC version of the Xbox app and on Windows 10 too. So this isn't only gonna be for iOS. Like I said, if you're somebody who has a PC and it can't really run games by downloading them, it's just not powerful enough. You're gonna be able to play games through Game Pass on the web browser. And I think that's a big thing that really just completely opens up this ecosystem and provides access to Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate to a lot more people. And if you think about how important the access of xCloud is on iOS to the North American market, it's crazy because I believe in North America, more than 50% of people are on iOS and not being able to access Game Pass through iOS is a big hit to Xbox. So obviously this is a solution they had to work on. And obviously it's great that they are taking this as seriously as they are, because I believe they announced this just a couple of months ago where they said that they were not going to allow what is going on with Apple by stopping them from putting the Game Pass app on their store to stop them from creating access to Game Pass for those users. So this is great news. Like I said, it's going to open up the ecosystem. It's probably going to increase the overall subscriptions of Game Pass once people see how it works if it works well, and just the content that's going to be available on there. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. Do you have an iOS device? Are you going to be checking it out on your iOS device when it is released? Are you going to be checking this out just through a Chrome tab on your PC? I'd love to hear all your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow so we can have great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support, and I'll catch you in the next video.